So this is step two. The next thing that you guys are going to be doing mainly is making a door during this stage. We're gonna be doing some things in the interior back wall area, but um, we will get started with this. The first thing that you're going to do when you go to the inside of this little area is you're gonna take all these lines right here and you're going to make them more like just guidelines, like dotted lines. So these lines, after this thing is graded and you know, it's all good and stuff, in your own time, if you wanted to erase these lines, like I would say way later <laughs> than it's graded, um, I would, you can do that, that's fine. So these are kind of like, you know, just to, to help us out. So, what will happen here is you will add a door opening and it's going to be on the right side of the paper right here and uh let's see here it's it is approximately one and one fourth by three and a fourth so your measurements with your door i would make it very very similar to that so so anyway so we'll we'll go ahead and do that all right, so the door, I'm starting it, it's around the, the middle portion, you know, if you, if you look at where this wall ends right here, it's kind of from here in the middle of this section to here, so I'm actually starting it right there. So just make a vertical line. You're going to have a portion of this above your horizon line. So let's see here. This is three and a fourth. So that's three and a fourth high. Okay. And then you're going to come in. You're going to line that top part up with the vanishing point there and just um, continue to show your work and, and draw your lines and, and all that kind of stuff to your vanishing point. And then we're going to end it You're gonna make a vertical line there. So this, let's see, this is uh, this three and a fourth by one and one fourth going that way. So, uh, like I said, this, you can make it very, very, very similar. Uh, you can make it the same measurements. Like I said, it works for what needs to happen right here. They're actually, we're sticking a chair right here. So you've got to have enough room for that chair that's happening there. So. What is going to happen, and I'll show you with this, you have, and you can see this line right here, the base of this door here, this is like the door frame that's, that shows a bit of the thickness. You can imagine maybe the door to the other room might be way, way open, and, and there it is maybe on the other side. You can't see through the wall, but it, it might be way open right there. But anyway, so this is going straight. So you're just gonna do a nice uh, horizontal line. Now the top of this is actually going to your vanishing point. So don't get confused. I know it's a little bit awkward. I would think, you know, if I was first learning this, I would say, say what? But that's what you guys are gonna do. So the thickness of your door is, I mean, it's not that thick. It's a couple of little tick marks on your ruler thick. You know, just to give enough information that you, you got a little frame going on right there. So you'll just finish it out with a straight up and down line. Now, um, you, you definitely do not have to do this, but you know, like the other, like the floor, you might have like a little entry to your floor, but I did want to show you that this is going this way. And then this, is going to your vanishing point right there. So that is step two.